Hey everyone, it's Miriam B and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to assemble a Walker Edison TV stand cabinet driftwood from Best Buy. All of the hardware are included in the box except for the Phillips head screwdriver which is needed for the assembly of this TV stand. To start, I'm going to screw six cam bolts into stand top one. Then I'm going to screw three cam bolts into panel two. Now insert two dowels into slat 17. They provided the glue to secure the dowels in place, but I didn't use it. If you see that the dowels are falling out, you can use the glue. Then attach slat 17 to panel two. Then insert three cam locks into slat 17. Tighten cam locks with a screwdriver. Insert two dowels on each side of panel two. Now screw two cam bolts into panel two. Insert dowels into panel three and four. Screw cam bolts into panels three and four. Insert dowels into panel 15. Insert dowels into shelf 9. Insert dowels into slat 10. Attach block 13 to slat 10 using screws. Then attach door stopper D to block 13 using screws. Insert dowels into legs 5, 6, 7, and 8. Screw cam bolts into legs 5, 6, 7, and 8. Attach support legs 16 to panel 2 using long bolts. Tighten long bolts with wrench. Then attach panel 15 to panel 2. Insert cam locks into panel 15. Attach shelf 9 to panel 15. Insert cam locks into panel 3. Then attach legs 5 and 6 to panel 3 and afterwards tighten the cam locks using a screwdriver. Repeat the same steps for panel 4 and legs 7 and 8. Now attach the panel 2 and 9 assembly to the panel 3 assembly. Attach slat 10 to the assembly. Tighten 
tighten slat 10 with a screwdriver. Slide back panel 14 into the back of the frame assembly. Now attach the panel 4 assembly to panel 2, shelf 9, and slat 10. Insert cam locks into panel 2, shelf 9, and slat 10, and then tighten with a screwdriver. Insert cam locks into the frame. Attach stand top one to the frame. Tighten each cam lock using a screwdriver to secure the stand top in place. Cover cam locks with stickers. Insert plastic pivots into panel 2 and slot 10. Attach handles to door 11 using handle bolts. Attach the door stopper plate to door 11 using screws. Now attach the door hinge to the door using the screws. Repeat the same steps for the other door. Insert door hinge into plastic pivot. Slide the left door into place and then attach the door by using the screws and repeat the same steps for the right door. Secure the back panel using these plastic wedges and screws. So this is how the Walker Edison TV stand cabinet looks once it's put together. The color is driftwood, product height is 23 inches, and the width is 44 inches. It's also from Best Buy. Overall, this product was pretty simple to assemble. I would definitely recommend it. 
So I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, click the like button and comment down below. And also remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.